Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is implement Q using stacks. So in this problem, we'll be we'll have to implement a first in first out Q using only two stacks. So we can take two stacks and we have to implement a Q. The implemented Q should support all the functions of a normal Q that is push, peek, pop, empty. So guys, if you're not uh, aware of what Q and stack is, so I will give the uh, link in the description. Uh, you can check those two videos. So you'll get to know uh, and you will have an understanding of Qs and stacks. So let's see this. So implement the myQ class. So here there will be given a class will be given here myQ and it will have a push, pop, peek and empty functions which we have to complete. Push will uh, push the element in the Q pop in the back uh, to the back of the Q. Pop will be removing the front element of the queue. Peak will give you the element which is like it will just return the element which is at the front, but pop will remove that element. Okay. Empty will tell you whether queue is empty or not. So basically, what we have to do, we do not have a queue, right? We do not have a queue. We don't have a queue, but we have to implement. We have to implement all the functions of queue using stack, using two stacks. That is, these two stacks will be representing our queue. Okay, they will be representing our queue. So, for example, if uh, just like quick introduction, uh, what is a queue? Queue is first in, first out. That is, if you have some elements one, two, three, four, five. So, since when you have to remove an element, right? One came first, so one will be removed first. So, you can take this as a queue. Like the queue of something, so here what whoever come first will get uh, will receive the thing first, okay. And if a new person will come, so they will will be uh, uh, they will be added at the end of the queue, okay. Then the new person will come, they will be added at the end of the queue, okay. So this is how queue works. That is uh, here. If you have to insert an element, that will be done from rear, that is end. And if you have to remove an element, it will be done from front. Okay, front is for insertion. Oh, sorry, front is for deletion. If you have to remove an element, deletion and rear is insertion. Okay, so now let's see how we can implement Q using two stacks. We will be seeing that. So let me take two stacks. I'll be taking two stacks here. Okay, these are two stacks. I can represent it like this also. If we have two stacks. This is S1 and this is S2. Okay. So just see what we will do. Let's say uh, we have some push operations. I'm just taking an example. I have just some push operations. That is I have to push 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So this S1 right here S1 stack will be will be acting as my queue okay this s1 stack will be acting as my queue so if uh, uh, elements are there in a queue how will they be arranged like if one will come first one will be at the top two will be there after that three will be after that and four will be like and five will be here right so that because this stack is acting as a queue right so if we have to delete an element obviously top element of the stack will go and the top element is what the first person which first element which came so this stack will fulfill my purpose so what i'm trying to tell you here is that this if these are the elements which have to we have to push so in this s1 stack they will look like something like this like okay now let's understand how this will work let's say we have to now we have to push element 6 we have to push element 6 so obviously guys you cannot add 6 here why because let's say you have added 6 here in this stack s1 now a pop query comes pop so from q if you have to pop something you it should be the second element right like it should be the first like the uh, most first element which come which came first in first out right first in first out so one was the first element which came so one should be popped out right but here six will pop out because it's at the top 
that we do not want to right so when a new element will come right we will not add it in the stack one what we will do see whatever the current elements there in the stack s1 we will add them in s2 so one we will pop from stack one add it in stack two then what will happen now again we will pop from stack one and add it to stack two okay we will do the same steps until stack one is empty so again pop from stack one add it in stack two okay pop from the stack one and add it in stack two again pop from stack one add it in stack two all right done we will do this thing uh, until stack one is empty so what we have done we have removed all the elements remove all elements from stack one and add it in add it in stack two this is what we have done right now we will do what whatever six is right stick six is six should be after five right it's after five only so in if if a queue will be there it will like this one two three four five six in this order so six we will add in stack two at the top that is second step will be add the new, add the element in stack two now guess what we should do after adding this this is something your stack two now what we should do if we have to what we should do think see now this is our this is our final elements right but if we have to uh, add it in s1 they should be in order 1 2 3 4 5 6 because one should come at the top why one should come at the top because if in future we have to do pop operation whatever was the first element in the queue that should go out first right so what we will do now we will bring all these elements back in s1 okay 6 will be removed 6 will be added here 5 will be removed 5 will be added here 4 will be removed 4 will be added here 3 will be removed 3 will be added here 2 will be removed 2 will be added here and 1 will be removed 1 will be added here so see this is what this is your this is something like your queue right 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so this is how you will uh, do the push operation so push is costly here push has few steps so now the third step is the move all the elements move all elements from s2 to s1 again from s2 to s1 so this these are th these three are your push operation push steps if you have to push an element six was you have to push an element now let's say second is if you have to pop it's very simple if you have to pop just remove the top element of the stack s1 because that will be the first element which came in the queue that's guaranteed okay so pop is very easy remove top element from stack 1 stack 1 then the third operation is peak 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 is to know the top element that is the front element of the queue like whatever is at the front of the queue that is obviously the top element of stack 1 again so just return the top element of stack 1 and lastly empty whether your queue is empty or not so queue is empty queue will be empty if both the stacks are empty so just check if both stacks are empty then your queue is empty both are empty okay so this is how we have to implement queue using two stacks here push operation is costly when i say costly it means in push operation we have to do few steps same there could be another way in which you can make pop cost co pop costly okay you can check that article it's a very good article on geeks for geeks website you can check that you will see how we can make pop costly but here i am making push costly that is push has few steps and pop is very simple just remove the top element of the stack okay so let's see the code for this once see 
I have taken two stacks S1 and S2. Push operation. What was the first step? First step was remove all the elements from stack one. So until or uh, stack one is not empty, we will just push, get the top element, push it into stack two, and remove the pop element, uh, top element of the stack one. So basically, we are just shifting all the elements in stack two. After that, add the element in the stack two. So we will add the element in the stack two. This was our first step. This is our second step. and then this is the third step third step was to remove move all the elements from stack 2 to stack 1 again that is until stack 2 is not empty just push all the elements of stack 2 in the stack 1 this is your push when you are popping so just remove the top element of stack 1 take the top element and remove it and return the top element for peaking again for peak was to get get the top element of stack one top element of stack one and empty is just check if stack so for empty you just simply check if stack one is empty or not because it will have all the elements right stack one is empty or not so i hope you understood the problem and the approach uh, just do do check out the geeks for geeks li uh, link i will give that in the description as well in that you can see how we can make pop, pop operation costlier okay like you can use any approach it uh, both are fine if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you